talking, I'm trying to, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to understand the current job guarantee versus the proposed job guarantee. Is it true that currently it's 1,000 jobs at 250% of minimum wage? There was, uh, uh, my recollection is that um, that was something that was in place at one point and then changed. So there was some dispute over what the actual number was. Um, and that, 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 that law changed. Okay. So I w my understanding is the current requirement is 150. Okay. And this would maintain the 150, but set a floor for an aggregate of 250. Understand. Understand. So it would be a, the, essentially the, the average would have to be 250%. Correct. Correct. Um, and it's the definition of those employees. Uh, currently, it's someone who's in a W-2 capacity, someone who's so. A, and a I didn't bring it with me, but employee. at the last hearing, we had a, um, a list from the administration about what they had agreed would be included. And there was uh, some extensive discussion. I'll try and get that for you before we're, we're done. Um, and I, I think the folks from IGT could talk to you about the slight. There are some differences uh, about yeah. who's included and who isn't. Um, some people were added and some people were taken out. Uh, there were uh, hours were adjusted a little bit. But uh, the, the idea is that that would not differ in this proposal from the proposal you heard about in the fall. OK. All right. and, and the proposal we heard in the fall and the proposal now, I think it includes subcontractors. Certain contractors employees. who are directly employed, uh, who, who's, yeah, who are directly employed. Uh, okay. Again, I think um, folks from IGT might be able to clarify the exact definition for you. I don't have that in front uh, of me. I understand. We'll ask. Thank you. 